Let's have a look today at the leading edge core upgrade for the workshop professional precision adjust. There's a few limitations with the original magnetic table and the original clamp regarding what it can actually do. Um, as an example, if you try and sharpen big blades like this, firstly the magnetic force isn't very strong. And secondly, if you try to sharpen either at the tip or at the back, the heel, clearly as you can see there it detaches itself from the magnets quite easily. You can hold it with your hand and guide it, but it's very loose and slides around uh, quite easily on the original platform. Secondly, if you try and sharpen small blades like this, clearly the magnetic force isn't near good enough. Even if you move the guide forward, it won't really hold it in position. It also has no real proper magnetic hold right at the tip. And lastly, you also there's no way to sharpen scissors on the original accessory. So to install <clears throat> the, the leading edge magnetic platform, let's have a look. So all you basically do is you slide off the original platform and slide on the leading edge core upgrade for the workshop professional precision adjust. You wouldn't need to tilt, tilt it, but uh, there is a gap in the back to make sure you can still clear and tilt it as you uh, sharpen if needed. It has a knife guide that can be removed and repositioned in three different positions depending on how big the blades are you need to sharpen, either in the front, middle or in the rear. And it is a three point guide in order to guide with two points on the spine of the knife to hold your edge parallel to your sharpening reference. So I'm just going to put this at the back right now. In the front you can see two holes that will take the scissors clamp and vertical support. Also takes the large magnetic platform. Let's have a look at the large magnetic platform. So simply you attach this to the front. Screw it into position. And now you have a very wide, big platform for large knives like kitchen knives with a lot of magnetic force to hold it into position. Slide the knife back to where you need to sharpen it. Have your two points of contact for a mirror image when you reverse the blade. And here you can see it holds it into position quite nicely. It will still slide a little bit, but a little significantly less than the original system. It also will not easily detach itself from the magnets when you sharpen either edge. It's probably worth still holding it very slightly with your hand because as you put a little bit of force on it, you can still slide the knife out of position but it's a much bigger, wider platform for large knives like this. Let's remove this and have a look at some smaller knives. So if I wanted to sharpen a small blade like the Victorinox blade here, I'll move this knife guide forward. Pop that into position. Give it two points of contact. And now you can sharpen a small blade like this as well. You can remove the guide completely if you want to do for really low angle sharpening, or you can only use the bottom guide or use the back side of it on the spine of the knife, whichever way you prefer. You can swivel it around for lower sharpening angles or whatever you need to do. Let's detach this. Now 
I'm going to show you the uh, scissors clamp slash vertical knife support. So let's look at the first function here. You can see the scissors clamp, vertical knife support clamp in the front can slide up and down as needed. Reason for that is if you have a knife with a saber type grind like this and you do want to sharpen it on the magnets right there as an example, you could have a situation where it rocks like this on the magnets because the magnets either want to attract this part or that part it then ends up rocking a little bit so the reason for the vertical knife support here is you simply slide that up lock it into position tightening the screws a little bit and now you have a vertical support there to take up the space so the saber type grind cannot wobble or swivel on top of the magnets at all while you're sharpening back there so how this three point knife guide works like i said before you decide on two points of contact wherever you want them on the blade so right here i've got that first point of contact just in front of the thumb stud there Second point of contact, slightly further forward. Roughly paralleling the sharpening edge. I'll sharpen this side. And lift the knife, place it down on the opposite side in the same position, just in front of the thumb stud. Second position in the center of the blade and sharpen the other side if necessary. The other, other big function of this here, I'm just gonna remove this for a display, is the fact that you can sharpen scissors with the system too. I'll loosen the screws a little bit, opening up the jaws here. Scissors, of course, you will have to sharpen one blade at a time and simply one angle for each blade, removing the burr on the back of the flat side of a stone. So let's attach this in here. So I'll just place the scissors in position so it barely clears the top of the little table there. Tighten these screws just lightly and then I'll use this threaded screw here to take up the space for the width of the scissors blade in the back here so that it's a parallel proper clamping for the scissors blade in the front there. And that means the scissors are in position nice and tight. So now you'll sharpen one side at a time. If you cannot disassemble your scissors with a screw in the center here, all you simply do is once you've attached it to the workshop professional precision adjust is just place it at the edge of a table. So the scissors handle hangs over the edge of the table while you're sharpening one side at a time. Obviously adjust your angle to what you need. Sharpen one blade. Once you're done with one side, remove the burr on the back just with the flat part of the stone and then sharpen the other blade on the other side. And that's the basic features and installation of the uh, leading edge core upgrade for the professional precision adjust.